Hey, Michael with X-Force PC. We're going to talk about enabling the onboard graphics on a particular motherboard. Now, a couple of things to keep in mind that are very important, very important. Make sure your chip, your processor, your CPU supports onboard graphics. A lot of them don't. And so trying to enable the onboard graphics uh, on a computer running a chip without integrated graphics support is a waste of time and uh, is not ever going to work. Uh, so Google it, just Google your chip and find out. Number two, uh, these onboard graphics ports are slow. And what I mean by that is for gaming. You can watch videos, browse the internet, check email, do anything you want in general on the, these ports except gaming. You cannot game on them well at all. Lastly, when you go into your BIOS, you're taking a risk. It's for experienced users. Um, this is level one stuff for those of us that are experienced, but do be aware that you could screw things up by going into your BIOS. So uh, do be willing to take that risk and know that that risk does exist before doing so. Now with all the disclaimers out of the way, let's move on and look at how to enable the onboard graphics. All right, we're going to look at the ASRock B365, B as in boy, 365 Pro 4 motherboard here. And let's just get our camera in nice and tight. So what I'm going to do, you can either reboot or you can <clears throat> cold boot and you just start tapping the delete key. That's going to be the same process on every single one of these motherboards. The delete key gets you into the BIOS. Now, once inside the BIOS on the ASRock B365 Pro 4, you have to first go to advanced mode, which is F6. Then you go over to advanced by hitting the right arrow, I'm moving my cursor over, go down to chipset configuration. You always, almost always, want your primary graphics adapter to be PCI Express because you have, assuming you have, because you're watching this video, a video card, you want the video card, meaning the one in the PCI Express slot, to be primary. So we should not change that. What you want to do is go down to where you see iGPU multi-monitor. And I've already enabled it on this board, but let's say you didn't hit the enter key and change this to enabled. And when enabled is highlighted, you hit enter. The amount of memory that's shared, I usually set it to auto, but you can carve out a certain amount of memory. Like if you want to say, because this is going to use system memory, your RAM, to uh, do the graphics, you can set aside a gig, but I usually just leave it set to auto. Then I'm gonna hit the right arrow, I notice the cursor moving across, and I'm gonna go to save changes and exit. Save changes and exit. And then I'm gonna say yes. Now, when you start up Windows, you won't immediately have drivers for your uh, onboard graphics. You can run Windows Update or go to Intel directly and download the graphics. And I've already done this on this system. So I'm going to right click on the taskbar, go to the task manager. And we see here GPU zero, which is the, which is, um, the onboard graphics, Intel UHD 630, and then GPU one is the NVIDIA GTX 1660 Super. So you should see two GPUs in here after you've enabled the onboard graphics and you've made sure to install the drivers. Again, most of the time, the easiest thing to do is just go to settings and go to Windows Update and tell it to check for updates. But sometimes that doesn't work. Sometimes you have to go to Intel and download the drivers. So that's how to enable the onboard graphics on the ASRock B365M Pro 4.